Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at uh, how to get outline for Intelligent. And uh, thank you, Slave Zero, for pointing me in this direction. Um, it is actually possible to get an outline just like uh, just like if, if you're used to, uh, to Visual Studio. Then you can see there's a small outline where you can see uh, a, a small box on the right side where you can see the file, how kind of how it looks like, just when a, like in a miniature map or something like that. Like if you're playing Trio and then you have the minimap, uh, it's just the same, just for IntelliJ and for coding instead. And the, the plugin you need is called Code Glance. So let's get right to it and look at how to get it up and running and working. So you actually just start your IntelliJ. You just start your IntelliJ and then you go to plugins and if the, your plugin uh, code glance will probably, it's not installed by default, so then you search for, uh, you, you press the marketplace right here and then you type in code glance. There's a one and a number, and a number two. Um, the second one, it does not have that many uh, downloads and it's made by someone else. So uh, the one I've tested is the one without a two and which is uh, created by the guy called Vector or company or whatever it is. And it has 1.3 da uh, million downloads, and it has a lot of stars. It's uh, you can see here 4.676 uh, stars. So that's it's a good plugin. It's stable plugin. It does what it's uh, supposed to do. Uh, at least that's uh, my uh, that's my current um, view on it. Then we have this uh, code. Yeah, if you search for code glance right here in the uh, in in your settings, then you can actually see that there are some settings attached to the code glance. We can see how many pixels we want per line. And then we can say how wide it should be and uh, which color the viewport should have and uh, where it should be located in the right side, on the left side, some startup. And when you're done choosing that, then you just press OK. Or you don't see it, need to set it. You can also just use the default values. Let us say, let us look at a, I have a test right here. And then you can see now this area here. Whoa, what is this? What is this? It looks like a small map, right? So this is the outline that we, that if you're using Visual Studio, then, uh, then people are used to. Yeah, to using uh, to use that, um, I actually don't miss this feature uh, uh, a lot because uh, I had to, I try to keep my files very very small. Um, but I can see if you have a large file, and I can also see it's, it's kind of neat, right? It's ki kind of cool. But if you if you have a um, if you have a huge file, let us let me try to create one right here. So we have a markdown file right here. So this is a markdown file, and let us just try to increase the size of it. I'll just copy paste all of it. So we get a lot of times, and then at some point in the middle, maybe we will have something uh, that just looks a bit different than the rest, like this. So that means that when I look at the outline and I and I want to see where, yeah the, the the part that is a bit different from the rest, and I can actually see it because um, I can I can see the pixels are there's there's, there's enough pixels there, so I can actually see that here's a different pattern than usual, and then I can go down to that area in my code. So I actually like this feature. Um, I'm not sure that I, that I that I want to keep this enabled because it actually it, it takes some of the the space, right? So um, I think for the most of my programs I would not need it, but um, but it's nice to know that it's there. And then suddenly, if I if I have a lot of uh, large classes that I want to traverse through, it's also sometimes if you want if you look at the, the frameworks and libraries, and if you hold control and then go to, down to some some classes, then um, then you can actually see that uh, those classes are probably quite long. Let me just try to go to, for instance, I'm uh, I'm playing around with the uh, Amazon uh, AWS uh, lambdas for another video. So let us just I'm just holding control here, and you can actually see this is how this file looks like right there. So and then I can uh, then I can navigate by just uh, holding my, the left mouse button, and then uh, yeah. Go up and down with the mouse like this, so that's actually it. I know it's um, it was just a small uh, trick, uh, so a small tip. Um, try to use um, try to use it, and then let me know what you what you think. Code glance, and you find it on the plugins marketplace, just as I just said. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening, and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye.